I mean, Blob's pretty good. Hey, and we got there. Let's go. <laughs> What's up, noobs? I'm Greer. This is Greener Gaming. Log in and let's go. Okay, so this is a deck I cooked up myself and I wanted to create just a crazy chaotic um, bunch of games, which we did. And we actually didn't do uh, terrible with this list. I went like 50-50, which for a meme cook, uh, pretty solid. So let's just go over the deck really quick. So we do have um, a mill package in here. We have Yondu, Baron Zemo, Cable, Gladiator, and Doc Ock, right? Because those are pretty chaotic cards. You never know what you're gonna uh, burn with Yondu or get with Cable. Um, you never know what you're gonna get out of Zemo or hit with Gladiator. And of course, pulling their entire hand with Doc Ock can backfire a lot of the time, especially if they're running Shang-Chi, but uh, it could also win you the game. So some of our even more chaotic cards in here, we have Mirage. Um, Mirage isn't great, but she just is a curve fill and getting one of their cards with bonus stats is pretty cool. We have Valentina, which I thought was a pretty cool addition um, because she can give you some pretty spicy six drops. Um, I put Magic in here because I wanted the game to last longer because we do have more expensive cards down here and i wanted the opportunity to play them we have iron lad um which is kind of chaos right good stats with uh six power but you never know what it's going to pull out of your deck i mean sometimes you kind of do but uh sometimes you kind of don't legion a really chaotic card especially if you randomly hit it with uh iron lad but just replaces the bunch of locations um, some of the games I just used him to ensure that magic stayed on the board. Other times there was just silly locations that I wanted to try out. So I, I use Legion on there. Plus then you can Cersei. Cersei is, um, she was like the starting point for this deck, obviously, cause she transforms all your other cards. Um, an ultimate chaotic card and she had some really good rolls too and then you can just finish it off with a big red hulk if you need to so i wanted this deck to be both chaotic but also have like a chance at winning that's why we put in like the mill package with the big red hulk and i had a lot of fun with this list it's the most fun list i've ever cooked up and i hope you enjoy it by the way if you're new here why don't you hit that subscribe button for a guy huh hey it's just a click for you it means the world to me all right let's get into the games all right hit him with yondu here They're playing a Loki deck, I guess. Let's go with Cable. Also running Cable, okay. I might just get rid of White Hot Room now. Because Loki has a bunch of small cards that they can play. And then we hit, uh, hit him with Iron Lad here. Okay, so it did hit Legion, so they can't uh, do any shenanigans like shut it off on us. Do I want to pull out their hand though, you know? I mean, I'm going to do it, but <laughs> is it a good play? Shang-Chi doesn't exist. Um, do I want to go? 
Elsa Gladiator? Because I don't want to buff up the Red Hulk, you know? And then we can go Mirage Cersei. I mean, risky, but it could also be awesome. Okay, let's see it. Was not anticipating an infinite. But we got there anyway. That was a pretty spicy Cersei roll, not gonna lie. Okay, let's chill for now. I think maybe we play Valentina over here since uh, this is an asteroid M, we're gonna wanna play Zemo there. I don't know the tribunal helps us all that much. Although we could Zemo here. Now, maybe we Zemo here. So the uh, the card we take ends up here and then Zemo gets shoinked over. Okay, I'm just gonna play Iron Lad, see what we hit. Okay, magic's not bad. Everything with Doc Ock. Shang-Chi doesn't exist. Although Doc Ock hits Shang-Chi 100% of the time. <laughs> Hobgoblin could be good because we have Cersei. And I think we just go Cersei Kitty Pride here. Got the green gob. Getting an Agatha from that is pretty spice as well. I think maybe we Kitty Pride Gladiator Surfer here. Although Gladiator might it Gladiator needs to hit something not great. But this covers everywhere. I mean, it's a good thing they moved Nightcrawler because <laughs> we could have hit uh, something potentially bad with Gladiator. Okay, let's chill. So we're both rocking Red Hulk. Good to know. I might just uh, roll Mirage mid to get the extra energy here. And then maybe we play Legion. Okay, in the spirit of chaos, we're playing Legion on X Mansion. <laughs> I 
My Yondu hits their Yondu. All right. Let's see what we roll into here. US Agent, not bad. Oh, it kills off our own Legion, though. Dr. Doom, not terrible. Okay, Rhino, and armor. Okay, so maybe we're gonna go Iron Lad here and hopefully it hits what? Magic? <laughs> Hey, it did. Nice. They also have magic. Okay. What do we want to do here? Do I even want to play anything? That's the that's the real question. Maybe we just play Cable, or maybe we play Valentina to get something spicy. It's just we're running out of space. I was really hoping to top deck Cersei. But okay, let's see it. Let's see what we get out of Valentina here. I guess we go Red Hulk. I mean, the Red Hulk's gonna be bigger, but we're already winning this lane. Okay, let, let's uh, let's fingers crossed for a Cersei top deck here. Okay, we got the Cersei top deck, so I think we go Shadow King Cersei. And this Cersei could royally screw us because uh, Legion could roll into like, what, Destroyer? But uh, let's see it. <laughs> I mean, Blob's pretty good. Hey, and we got there. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's chill here. We have the cable for two, which is pretty good. Rickety bridge, not so great. Let's uh, hit him with cable for now, though. I mean, we could pull all of his stuff into Rickety Bridge with Doc Ock. That could be fun. Um, maybe we go with Magic here. Hmm. Maybe we Magic here. Question is, do I want to play a card here just to see if I can hit the Nightcrawler? I don't want to play multiple things over here. Maybe we just play an Iron Lad for now. Although if it hits Legion, then we're kind of sad. Um, yeah, I could just Electra Zemo or Electra Gladiator. I think I like Zemo better because it's, uh, you know, we, we take a resource instead of just destroying one. If they just got our Cersei, that's fine. But if they got our Doc Ock, that might not be okay. Forgot that uh, rocks were going to be a thing. 
That's my bad. So let's go Doc Ock here. Okay, so they have Cersei. That Fantastic actually might have ruined us mid here. Though that is a lot of stuff to get rid of. I kind of want to just go rock Cersei here to see what we get. Then maybe we can finish it off with a Red Hulk. Oh, they're playing Agatha. <laughs> Wait, no. How did they get Agatha? Oh, it was created by Valentina. That's kind of funny. Oh, man. Gotta hope that they can't do more than 13 here. I mean, unless I want to try to roll into... A legion. No, I think we just stick with Red Hulk. I mean, pretty funny win. <laughs> Okay, let's chill here. Um, I think we Valentina here and we can get rid of TVA with magic. Okay, I think we magic and toss out a gin. And then we uh, we have some options of what we can do. Thrown out a Cersei, okay. So, I think we toss out a Scar and then maybe an Iron Lad. See what we get. I don't know if I want to clog up more space with the Djinn. It's a good thing I didn't play the Djinn. Was not expecting a Debris. Bro, are you kidding me with that? Iron Lad rolling into the Red Hulk when they filled up the entire board. Pretty spicy, dude. Okay, let's, uh, let's chill. I don't love Mojo World. So if we get the opportunity, maybe we uh, change it to something else. If they're running Martyr, they're probably a zoo deck. Which means... uh. I mean, the squirrels just help them, I guess. It's Valentina. Oof. We did get Limbo, however. And, you know, playing a, a gladiator is pretty, pretty good here.
So it's like, is bricking them up good or bad for us, you know? I might Legion on Limbo. Although, that does give him the opportunity to get a big sunspot. Maybe we Doc Ock here. So they're gonna have a Gilgamesh finisher, I'm assuming. Do we wanna go Yondu Cersei? Ah, uh, this is risky as hell, dude. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do it. So, I mean, we win solidly over here. And Red Hulk just wins here. I don't, I don't think there's any way they can win, even if that is Gilgamesh, right? I mean, I'll take it. Okay, I guess we could yawn do an op maze just to get rid of it now because we don't have like Jeff or Nocturne or anything Hitting the Iceman's not terrible Oof, that's kind of rough I might just play Mirage on Hotel Inferno although if they have Guardian stuff they might go Star-Lord here. But maybe they're just like a zoo bounce. Okay, let's hit him with the Zemo here. Well, I'm thinking we're going to Cersei the, uh, the Zemo lane. So I might just toss out a Gladiator over here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Maybe we uh, Doc Ock over. I don't want to Doc Ock. I don't want to Cersei a Doc Ock lane, do I? So maybe we Doc Ock over here. Are ye worthy? Okay, Wong Odin out of the way. They can only play one card. Problem is, is if they have a way to buff over here, and I can only play one card. I mean, technically I can play Ironheart Valentina, but that doesn't win. Okay, we're rolling on the Cersei, and hopefully it's something that wins us the game somehow. <laughs> or they can just retreat. All right, I'll take it. So while playing this deck, we went seven and seven, which is a 50% win rate. Sadly, we went a negative one cube, but honestly, for a deck that I cooked up myself with a small sample size, not terrible. 50-50 is pretty good. Obviously the negative one cube, not so good, but that just means I stayed in a game that I shouldn't have stayed in, you know? <laughs> but this deck was a lot of fun. It's the most fun deck I've ever cooked up, I think. And um, I urge you to try it out. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. Hey, if you like this video, why don't you click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And anyway, GG.